Hey guys, it's Minikube back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some more mysteries and theories in Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, I would very much appreciate it if you guys did drop a like and also subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for more mystery videos like this, and uh, with that out of the way guys, let's just get straight into this video. So in Red Dead Redemption 2, there is actually a mystery going around as to where Gavin is. Now if you guys haven't heard of this mystery, basically what happens is if you guys make your way down towards Rhodes, or I believe in that area of the map, uh, you should find someone yelling out Gavin's name, and he's trying to find his friend called Gavin, uh, and I believe this guy's name is called Nigel. Now uh, the way you can tell if his name is Nigel is if you guys actually loot him, uh, you can find a note on him from someone called Tom and basically it goes on to say um, how how good friends Tom is with uh, Nigel and Gavin but anyway um, Nigel has been trying to find Gavin for a long time now and uh, a lot of people have been trying to find who Gavin is or where Gavin is and uh, no one has actually found him yet and uh, I've got a few theories as to who it could be so my first theory is that uh, Gavin could actually be the strange person under the gun store in Rhodes. Now if you guys haven't heard about this, if you guys make your way around the back of the gun store, you should notice some sort of little grill kind of at the bottom of the building. And if you guys go up to it, you should notice someone is down there. And so once you've found this person down there, what you got to do is make your way inside of the gun store and aim the gun at the uh, shopkeeper. Now you can't just aim it. If you go onto the shopkeeper and if you focus on him, uh, there is an option to rob him. And when you go to rob him or aim weapon at him, uh, then there is another option to let him uh, show you under the uh, building. So if you guys go under the building into the uh, basement, you should notice someone is down there. And uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much so you guys could go check it out. But um, this person here could actually be Gavin because... I believe the shopkeeper of the gun store, uh, I'm not sure if he kidnapped him or something like that, but um, I believe he must have been missing for a long time as well. So this could be Gavin as well. But my main theory that I have is a little bit more deeper. So this other theory that I have is that Gavin could actually be Francis Sinclair. Now if you guys don't know who that is, he is a time traveler from the future that you can meet in a stranger mission. And uh, the stranger mission is located close to Strawberry. And uh, I did a video on this not too long ago, so definitely go check it out. But anyway, if you guys do go ahead and do this mission, he will ask you to go and find 10 carvings all around the map. And uh, you've got to draw them out and then send them to him. Once you've sent them to him, about 24 in-game hours later, he will then invite you back to his house. Now, if you guys go back to the house and walk inside, you will find a lady there holding a baby. And uh, this baby has the same sort of mark that Francis did. And uh, it turns out that the baby is actually Francis Sinclair about a year after he was born. And uh, that lady is Francis Sinclair's uh, mother. And it turns out that Francis Sinclair's father, called Tom, actually died a year ago, I believe. And, uh, and basically, this is where it connects with the Gavin mystery. So if you guys remember, Gavin's friend Nigel had a letter on him from someone called Tom. Now this Tom could be the same Tom that is Francis Sinclair's father. And uh, what I believe would have happened was Francis Sinclair would have grown up to make a time machine so that he could go back in time to meet his father since he never got to meet his father um, because his father actually died around the time he was born. And then what would have happened is when he met his father, he would have obviously came up with a fake name because his father would have uh, freaked out if he found out that he was from the future so he came up with the name Gavin now uh, at the time obviously uh, Tom was friends with someone called Nigel and that is the person that you meet and then um, he would have all of a sudden disappeared and then would have gone out into the woods to try and find these rock carvings now the reason why he wants to try and find these rock carvings is because he wants to create this mural for his younger self to look at while he grows up so he can make a time machine uh, and so that way he will know that it is possible that he can create time machines and so that way he can go back in time when he is older to go and then 
meet his father. So to summarize it all up, Francis went back in time and created a fake name so he could go and meet his father without his father freaking out and then he would have created this uh, strange mural so that way he can reassure his younger self that he will be able to meet his father in the future by using a time machine. So if you guys look at it that way, it makes total sense and that basically means that these two mysteries could possibly be linked together and we do actually find uh, Gavin, but he goes by the name of Francis Sinclair. So that's really it for my video guys, hopefully you guys did go ahead and enjoy this video, and if you guys did, I know it was a bit of a confusing video, but anyway, if you guys did enjoy it, I would very much appreciate it if you guys did drop a like, and also if you guys do go ahead and subscribe, you can stay tuned for more mystery videos in Red Dead Redemption 2, just like this. But with that out of the way guys, I will see you in my next video.